Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we are going to be working on lesson 28 of module one. Okay, so we're looking at original price, sale price, amount of discount, percent saved, and percent paid. So I always say that the easiest columns to fill out on a chart like this is if you're saving 20%, that means you have to pay the other part of the 100, which means 80% is what you pay. So if this is 25, then the percent paid is 75%. And if we pay 90%, we save 10%. And that's what we're going to be working with in these three columns. And then from here down is what we're going to be working on later. All right. So we're going to use pr proportion method. Now you have the whole bottom part of this paper. So I'm only going to be writing in this zone for these three questions and filling in all these boxes. So I'm going to be erasing stuff as we go. So what you're going to want to remember to do is to use that whole bottom set of paper. So here we go. If we know that the percent saved is 20% and the percent paid is 80%, we can find out if we know the sales price, we can figure out since that's the percent saved, we can do a proportion. So here we go. We have part over whole. This is always 100%. Percent paid is what the sale price is. So percent paid and sale price kind of go together. So if I put 80% here and my sale price was 800, I can find out how much the original price is going to be. So we can do our diagonal multiplication on this very first problem. So we have 80 times X equals 800 times 100. So we have 80 X equals eight and we have four zeros. Okay, we're gonna divide by 80, divide by 80. And I just gotta move this down a little bit so you can see that or up. And we can cross out a row of zeros. So we have 8,000 divided by 8, which is 1,000 equals X. So our original price of the item was 1,000. So if our original price was 1,000 and our sale price was 800, the discount there is $200. Okay. We can figure that out just by sale price, original price. The amount of discount was $200. And that's 20% of the money. So that's one problem. Okay, now going into our next problem for the sneakers. It says our original price was $80. We don't know the sales price. We don't know the discount. But the percentage saved and the discount are the same thing. So these two things will help each other out. So we can do 25% over 100. And then we can figure out um, the discount. We don't have the discount, but we have the original price. Okay, so 25% is what we saved. That would be the discount. The original price is 80. So we can go 100 times X equals 80 times 25. 100X, 25 times 80 is 2,000. Five by 100. X equals 20. So 25%, we our, our discount was $20. So if it was $80 and we get $20 off, our sale price is 80 minus 20, which is $60. Okay, so now we're on the video game question. And that's 10% is what we saved. And 90% is what we paid. But if you notice, we have the sale price. So here we can go 90 over 100. All percents go over 100. And the sale price is what percentage we paid. So that's the 54. So we can find the original price on the bottom. So now we have 54 times 100 equals 90 times X. 90x equals 5,400 divided by 90. So here, x equals, 
we have, it goes in, we get 60. So our original price was $60. So our discount is $6. So $6 is our discount. Oh boys, victory royale. And Woo! that would be my child on the video game question. How funny was that? So we have $60. 54 is what we paid. We saved $6. That's a 10% discount. This is how we fill all this stuff out. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby. And I love math. And my kid likes Fortnite.